there's ever been in the whole world. I want to be better than say Tev, better than Arsene Tzadzaev. You know, I can't be better than those guys in the long run if I'm just squeaking by wins here and there. You know, I gotta enforce my will on my opponents and score bunches of points every time out, and I gotta learn every time out, and I gotta get better every time out. And the only way to get better every time out is put myself out there. You know, some of my matches I've, uh, you know, I've given up some points by being too aggressive. And you know, um, as long as I'm winning the matches, I'm putting points on the board. It doesn't matter. Terry Brands always says. Um, you know, it's not about not making a mistake, it's being able to be good enough to overcome those mistakes. And that's what I've kind of learned this year. Last year, years before, I've been too worried about making mistakes. This year, you know, I don't care if I make a mistake. I don't obviously don't want to make a mistake, but if I do make a mistake, I know my conditioning, my technique, my mindset's good enough to overcome those mistakes. Um, the high single that he was in on, did you think you were in a position where you could pin him there? Well, I was, I was gonna, you know, hook the leg and throw him, you know, but then I thought, you know, fundamentals, and if I go for that, and I'm on my back like two years ago, Tom's gonna really kick my, my, uh, you know what, part of my language. But, um, you know, I just stayed calm there, and then, you know, he stayed on the leg too long, and then I felt his hips kind of tip, and then I just threw in that front quarter. So, I wasn't necessarily looking for it, but that's wrestling. You know, things unfold right in front of it, and you take advantage of it. What is it like getting a fall? In this building, when there's 10,000, 11,000 people, it's awesome. Here. Can you describe it's awesome. it? Um, I mean, I'll go back to the grapple the gridiron and you know use the word electric. You know, it's electric. Um, it's just awesome. You know, we haven't competed that, that much, not as much as I'd like here at home. And you know, the fans are hungry to see us compete, and you know, they're hungry to see me pin guys and just destroy guys. And you know, they loved it. I loved it. You know, I threw my hands up and embraced the crowd and. You know, there's a lot of emotion there, a lot of emotion from the crowd. It, it's awesome, you know. This community, not even the fans, the community itself, the university, this, I, the city of Iowa City, it's just it's an unbelievable place. Everyone supports us, and we support them, and it's, it's, it's just awesome. It's a little bit different, though, when it's Minnesota, isn't it? I mean, yeah. you guys have kind of lacked that marquee duel in the middle of the season that's maybe been there in the past, and, and I think the fans are kind of hungry for right. something like this. I mean, the turnout... Um, what runs through your veins when they erupt like that? What's uh, it's the feeling just, in your body? It's just excitement. Um, you know, everyone's talking, well, Minnesota's down this year, Minnesota's down. It doesn't matter whether they're up, the, the number one team in the country or the 20th team in the country, it's still Minnesota. You know, their coaching staff's going to put out propaganda to, to get them fired up, and, you know, they're, they're trying to beat Iowa. You know, that's a, if they can even win two, three, four matches, you know, that's that's good for them. So we got to come out here and, you know, put the, put the nail in the coffin and win all 10 matches. Well, it's not possible now, but the rest of the nine. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. These rivalries are fun. I mean, we started out the year with uh, Oklahoma State, and that's a, you know, it was a 100th uh, or 50th, my bad, um, meeting. You know, that was, you know, excitement just running through your veins too, so it's fun. This place went bonkers, so when Clark followed it up, where, where were you? Were you back getting a... I was upstairs doing some bike sprints and push-ups. Could you and hear I could it? hear it. Yeah, our uh, our wrestling room, you know, was like right behind the stands, you know. So I, I was kind of hearing, you know, listening for, you know, you can kind of tell what's going on, you know, whether it's like quiet, you know, maybe it's a close Clark match where, you know, not a lot's happening. He's probably riding the, the dog out of him. But, you know, then you hear some getting more and more, and all of a sudden the crowd erupts, and then you just look up, and you just kind of get the chills, you know, and you know that he pinned him. So yeah. it's awesome.